Mountain biking can be expensive, but these are our top 10 money-saving maintenance tips. Keep your bike clean. If you roll it straight into the garage after a wet ride with only a token gesture of a bit of WD-40, then you'll probably find plenty of seized and stiff bearings the following weekend. A full clean with a proper degrease, washed off with soapy water, will keep your bikes working in good order for significantly longer. It's always nice to get a clean bike out of the shed. It also looks good. So you've washed your bike off, what to do next? This old t-shirt, perfect to use as a rag. Get all the moisture off your chain, a lot of the moisture off the bike. Dry the chain off. This will stop your chain rusting and ready for you to apply the lube. So applying my chain lube up here near the chain set, there's no chance of it getting on the rotors. The reason why you lube your chain is that it'll prevent the front chain ring and the rear cassette wearing too badly and also increase the life of your chain. A great and very cheap way of protecting your pride and joy is to cover the chain stay with something. The chain's going to slap on that and can cause some bit of damage to the paint. So you can either buy yourself a chain stay protector or for our more frugal viewers, get yourself an old inner tube, cut it and wrap it around the chainstay. Wrap your old tube around the chainstay, secure it with a zip tie or some gaffer tape, and that's a top bodge. Making the jump to a tubeless setup will have an initial cost, but once you have that setup, the benefits are great. You can run less pressure and therefore more traction. One benefit also is if you tend to ride on thorny or very rocky trails, the chances of you getting a puncture are far less than with a regular tube setup. When you get a little hole or slit in your tubeless tire, you might think it's a write-off and you have to fork out for a new one. In fact, there are a number of companies now offering tubeless tire repair kits, either using the small bungs that get pushed in from the outside or using a larger repair. I find these often last the lifetime of the tire. So our next tip is not only a money-saving tip, but it'll also stop you from having a huge headache of trying to get your carbon seat post out of your frame. Now, if you don't know, carbon will seize inside a carbon frame and also carbon will seize in an alloy frame. So what should you do? Well, simply you want to apply a little bit of fiber grip or carbon prep to the seat post and that should allow the seat post to move nice and easily and you don't have the headache of trying to get a seized seat post out of a frame. Believe me, it can be very tedious. Heli tape or protective patches are great little additions to your bike that's going to stop any debris or things like cables rubbing and damaging your frame. You can see this one on the chain stay, it's just going to stop the chain slapping and damaging that carbon frame. You can also put them up where your cables come around the head tube or even on the top tube where your knees might rub on the, on the frame. If you really want to save yourself some money, learn how to work on your own bike. An essential for that is a good set of Allen keys. Something like this set of T-handles or just individual Allen keys would be much better for working on your bike than a multi-tool like that. They're great for the trail, but not the most practical tool in the workshop. These will be one of your most used tools. With mountain bikes becoming ever more complex and a lot of components having indicated torque settings, it's a good idea to have your very own torque key. Now, the reason for this is that when you've got a CNC alloy part, like the stem joining a carbon handlebar, you don't want to over tighten that and damage the carbon. So this particular bolt is indicated five newton meters. Simply put it in there and it indicates right here there you go, that's five newton meters. I know that's at the correct torque and it's not gonna cause me any problems. So that's it for our top 10 money saving maintenance tips. Hopefully keep your bike running sweet and you saving a little bit of money. But no doubt the eagle eyes out there have spotted something that we have missed. So don't forget, leave that in the comments down below. And if you wanna see more maintenance videos, Click up here and that'll get you through to our maintenance playlist. And if you click down here, that'll give you our top 10 tools for looking after your mountain bike. And as always, click on me to subscribe to GMBN and you will never miss a video. What could be better?
every day of the week we have a video now.